Hi, everybody. Goldilocks is in the house. Hopefully on your end, as well as my end. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. No naughty boys and girls out there. I stopped Ubering weeks ago and um, I still work at the police department, but my, um, my last two shifts had no prisoners. So I was paid essentially to um, be there just in case, and that worked for me. I've got a great little office with a, a you know, one of those Barca loungers and um, great big TV monitors for all the things that I'm supposed to be able to see my own bathroom. And so that works for me and um, deemed essential at this point, it's my <laughs> income stream. So I'm very fortunate to still have that. And um, so that's what I do a couple of shifts a week. And um, the rest of the week, what I do in a day, begin my day, I'm a carnivore, I'm a Goldilocks, I'm a turtle, I'm a pickle, I'm a member of the no matter what club, and here I am. And you can be members of all of those things yourself as well. I enjoy black coffee for the first cup of the day. Mm -hmm. What I do is I aim for the beans at Whole Foods that are or, or, blah, 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 <laughs> organic and I grind them up and I have it and um, it's not as painful as um, I thought it would be. This has been going on now for a couple of months. And so then I have cups two and three and those do have Kitu, K-I-T-U, the unsweetened version creamer because I don't have sweeteners anymore. And I got through that and this, you know, when we do our, when we do our, if you've landed at carnivore or if you're still keto or still carnivish, there's a path that a lot of us take that is familiar. You know, when I was keto, I was still allowing the almond flour in my, in my keto pizza. I was still having um, ample amounts of veg. They did not bother my gut. And then one day it turned. Mm -hmm. And so um, then I began to limit it. So I was calling myself Carnivish and mm -hmm, they didn't work that way either. So in limited amounts. So it kind of was a progressive to the all meat food plan, all meat, coffee, and my Gerl Steiner mineral water, my butter, my ghee, my bacon grease. <laughs> You've just heard what I eat in a day. So it's funny because it's like in, in this time that we're in right now, it's not so much what you eat in a day, it's what you do in a day. So when I wake, well, when I woke up today, I, I took a shower and washed my hair so I could have it as absolutely <laughs> puffy as possible. No, that I, I have my big dog of water. I put 20 drops of oil of oregano in it. It's an organic little thing with a stopper that I buy at Whole Foods. Good for viruses. I also heard it's good for, for this. I also heard that the carnivore diet is good for um, making yourself a little bit more resistant. I heard that um, this virus loves sugar and um, obese people definitely are more prone to getting it. And that's one of the underlying health conditions, right? So. I'll have this and then I kind of putter around. Um, like today I'm doing a video, I'll do some rebounding. I do 20 minutes a day on the rebounder in the morning. Um, I used to think that I'd be able to do 10, 10 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes twice a day. It doesn't work, it never did with exercise for me. I do it first thing or no thing, right? <laughs> Nothing. And I will head out to the big box store today Oh, it's a big trip out. Um, my tank is full in my car. My car is asking me when I get in, how come no more Ubering, mom? Where, where, what happened? And um, I will plan my OMAD. I think that um, for me, sticking to OMAD and sticking to my meat um, oils or, you know, fat, coffee, uh, mineral water routine is healthy for me. I don't want that quarantine 15 or 30 that a lot of people talk about. 
they laugh about it and they just figure we'll all look fatter. Well, Americans are already that way to begin with. 40% obesity, right? So we have to, we want to work on those things for our health conditions because we don't want to have um, a whole bunch of meds that we have to take every day just to deal with the chronic American diseases, right? No, we don't. <laughs> standard American diseases, just like the standard American diet. So we need to take care of ourselves, especially now when the stress is at its highest. And, um, you know, the, the cliches of we'll get through this together. Yes, that's true. But there are some moments if you're sitting there alone, quarantined, that you, you just kind of wonder, <clears throat> is this surreal? It's like apocalyptic, isn't it? And so um, I try to do as many videos as I can just to show you that there's some consistency going on for me too. I can't change up now. How could I come back to you and say, yeah, I gave in. <clears throat> I'm having the standard American diet every day just because I'm bored, I'm restless, I'm a clock watcher. I, I can't do any of that. And I'm really not, <clears throat> excuse me, if I think I'm hungry, I'm really not because uh, yesterday, for example, I had an almost two pound ribeye. Sure, I cut a lot of the big hunks of fat off of it. So, and it was cooked on the big green egg. So it probably ended up, you know, maybe 20 ounces of pure um, meat that I ate, sometimes laced in fat. And so I'm not hungry. <clears throat> That's a satiating hunk of hunk of that lasts me. I do enjoy my coffee coffees. They're a nice break. Like I said, I do the rebounder. When the sun is out, um, I drive to the beach um, and I put my face in the sun, hoping for, I don't know, just something. It feels good, even if it's not doing anything. I remember Dr. Davis saying after 40, the human body doesn't absorb as much vitamin D through their skin. I don't know. I mean, yeah, he also thinks we should have a potato. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just, I, I, you know, take care of the small pleasures. So if getting in my car alone and driving to the beach and sitting there with a good old, you know, 45 minute video from somebody, why not? It just, it feels good. It's a nice break. I get to get out there and see the ocean, feel the sun. Um, the beach that I go to, um, I have a little rental property on that street. So at the end of it is kind of just this cute little smaller beach, less frequented. And, um, you know, I overlooked the Kennedy compound. So it is rather picturesque. I, I have thought of doing a little video and shooting it up to this channel just to show you what I do in a day. Maybe I will. So I'm just waiting for another sunny day. I've heard today as I record this, it's a Monday. I heard that maybe by Wednesday we might have a glimpse of sun. So <laughs> even that's not in our favor these days. So that's what I do. It's, it's, is it easy? Yes. You know, I'm a grown up. I accept what I'm doing. I'm not trying to game the system, not having a case of the efforts and eating what I'm not supposed to, driving out there and being around people like I'm not supposed to. It is what it is. And, um, you know, I try to be consistent and disciplined and structured. And I guess that that filters into my day. So join me, if you will, with the cuppa. I know that, um, you know, it's not as easy. I know some people are doing gardening. It must be for flowers because if you're not eating veggies anymore, no sense in growing them, right? So we do what we do. And I will see you here the next time, keeping my um, mood, thank goodness, through the meat, um, up, elevated, and um, say hi, Greg. Can you see him? I can't see him either. Huh. Oh, I think I saw movement. Yep, he's there. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with the Carnivore Lifestyle, and uh, I'm so glad you're here. Remember, communities don't cheat. It's an individual decision that if you make it, all the consequences are yours and you don't, you don't want to do that. And don't, I don't know, I haven't used my, my spack, 
my SmackDown swatter from Amy in a long, long time, and I don't want to. God knows we've got enough of that going on. So be safe, stay out of harm's way, and I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. This has been Goldilocks. Bye-bye for now.